Because you, in order to know where we're going, we have to know where we've been. Yeah. And that's why history is so important. That's why, you know, I, I read the Bible and I, uh, I'll never forget being 18 and I was reading about Peter and, and John and David and Daniel. And I'm like, Jesus, you told me you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. If that's true, you need to become the God of Chad. And we, we, you know, we're going to look at some Texas history. We're going to, you look at Esther, you look at Daniel. There's got to be something that arises in us for such a time as this, that I was born, that God, you know, it wasn't by accident, by chance that I was born in this time. And there's, what does my voice look like? What does a person of, of courage and faith look like? And so I'm going to, you guys like stories. And, uh, and so I was in Mexico on a missions trip, and it was school ministry. It was back in 2004, and uh, I was in the second year school ministry, about ready to go into third year, and they uh, put me and Joaquin Evans in charge of the outreach. We were doing this kind of open-air crusade thing in Revolution Street in Tijuana, and we, uh, we, we started preaching. We had this open kind of platform. It was a lot of bars, a lot of hotels, a lot of uh, there's prostitutes behind us. I mean, it was, it was a crazy kind of in the middle uh, of, of Tijuana. It's a pretty crazy environment. And so we're preaching and it starts raining. And so they tell us, hey, because of it's raining, we might have to put away the sound equipment. We might end really, really early. So we tell our team, we have about 100 school ministry students. We tell them, hey, pray for the rain to stop. So it's raining. It's not raining hard, but it's sprinkling. And they said, if it continues to rain, if it rains a little harder, we're going to have to shut things down. Well, it starts raining a little more, a little, a little harder, a little harder. And we're thinking, oh man. And no one's really listening to us because no one's outside. There's people in the bars that can kind of hear us, people in hotel rooms. But we're going, this is not working. This is, this is not. And I have a friend, he was my roommate and he was my best man. I had two best men. Um, I like to change things up or not be traditional. Uh, I, I, Joaquin Evans, who was partnering with me, and then my roommate in school ministry at Bethel, uh, his name's Bobby Brown. No, no relations to uh, the one that was married to Whitney Houston. But uh, so Bobby has this look in his eye. Bobby has this look in his eye. We've been preaching for an hour, kind of pressing in, pushing through, uh, not many people listening, not many, you know, it just it didn't feel like it was very successful. We're going to have to shut things down. And Bobby looks at me and Joaquin, who were like the point people, and we have the microphone. He goes, give me the microphone. And there's me and Joaquin look at each other like, oh, it's on. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> so we hand the microphone to Bobby, and Bobby goes, do you want to know Jesus is real? I'm going to prove to you Jesus is real. I'm going to count to three, and the rain's going to stop, and the clouds are going to part, and the moon's going to shine. And, and if that doesn't happen, we'll all pack up and leave right now. And so he just says, in the name of Jesus, rain stop. One, two, three, stop. And it just stops, and then the clouds part, and then the moon shines. And, every, and then he, like, throws the microphone at me and goes, all right, your turn. And I'm like... <laughs> I'm, I'm batting cleanup, and so I just like, Jesus is real, you know? Like, 